What's going on, fellas? It's Taylor here, back again with another video. Now, today I'd like to give you my impressions, or an early review, if you will, on Assassin's Creed Unity. In a lot of ways, this game is the best Assassin's Creed there's ever been. In a lot of ways, it's one of the worst there's ever been. Um, now, if you're dead set on getting this game, if you just love Assassin's Creed, and you were going to get it anyway, you're hyped, um, then get it. You know, I did it. I knew the game was in the mid-7s in reviews, and I'm still glad I got it. There's a lot of content here. But the problem is, uh, Ubisoft is apparently trying to be the new EA and rushing all their games out before they're really done. Um, this game lacks a proper quest log. It lacks a decent frame rate, yes, even on the Xbox One. Uh, the Xbox One version is anywhere from 25 to 30 frames a second. Um, and the PS4 is anywhere from 20 to 25 frames a second. And the, the problem isn't the 30 frames a second or the 25 frames a second, it's the fluctuation. I don't mind a 30 frame a second game, it's when that 30 frames is all over the place constantly. It's never stable, and it's noticeable, and it, bu it bugs the fuck out of me. It's just annoying, Ubisoft. Reduce the NPCs, uh, the civilians, reduce them by 5%, 10%, and get that frame rate locked in. Because, you know, there's too many people all over the roads anyways. Um... So reduce that shit and get the frame rate locked. Make your shit enjoyable. It, it's such potential in this game, and I feel like a lot of it is wasted. That's the biggest problem with this game. So much potential, and you're like, holy crap, that's cool. Or, wow, this, the new animations in this game are amazing. Or, wow, this game's graphics are phenomenal. They rival Rise Son of Rome, which is an Xbox One launch exclusive. I'd still say Rise graphics are better, but this game's are phenomenal. The motion capture and the cutscenes you're seeing here, uh, they're just spot on. It looks great, um, but it's wasted potential. A lot of the, a lot of the shit in this game is just like I said, wasted potential. Now this game's got some great stuff. The customization and AC Unity is second to none when it comes to an Assassin's Creed game. They pulled, they basically ripped it right out of Splinter Cell Blacklist, uh, reskinned everything. But the system, if you're familiar with Blacklist, you know you put on these boots and they might increase your armor or stealth or whatever what have you um same thing in this game you know uh which kind of sucks because you can't really wear the outfit you want to wear if you want to be a stealthy player you have to choose from stealth outfits you know you can't really apply stealth attributes to maybe a piece of armor or clothing you might have liked um which is kind of restricting but the customization is there it looks great um every piece of, piece of clothing is laced with the physics technology it all moves realistically um and the weapons are, are definitely better as well. You can buy these weapons, plenty to choose from. And then when you buy these weapons, you can upgrade them as well, which is awesome. Um, the load times in this game are not great, as you see right there. It took forever for that load screen to pass. Um, they're not amazing, but uh, thankfully there aren't too many load screens. You can go through the whole city with no load screens. Um, and as I said before, the animations in this game are amazing that was one of my big complaints about uh, the last assassin's creed is that the animations were dated um and even at 30 frames a second or more like 25 frames a second um the animations look pretty fluid for such a low frame rate you know normally the more frames uh, the more uh, frames of animations you'll get the animations here look good at 20 to 30 frames a second and uh, for some reason the video is stuttering right now but it wasn't stuttering like that when i was playing it um but yeah, the game feels like so much potential, just lost. It's still fun, it still looks phenomenal. If you want a real next-gen game, get it. Ubisoft, please patch this game. Get the frame rate stable. Take the shadow detail down a notch. Who gives a shit about the shadows? The shadows look really good in this game, but nobody's paying attention to those. As long as they're there and they move dynamically with the character, nobody's sitting there saying, oh, there's a couple jaggies in the shadow, you know, um... Reduce the shadow detail. Reduce the uh, civilians. I don't know. Do whatever it takes to get this game out of 30 frames pretty constant because it's annoying as fuck. It's hard to enjoy because of that frame rate. Um, and I really feel bad for the PlayStation owners. You know, they probably can't see what the fuck they're doing half the time. Um, another big negative is the quest log. The quests in this game are just out of control. I go select one like I'm going to go do one. I have no clue what's active. I can't... Uh, I, I haven't found a way to deactivate quests I've started. I know you can go in and abort quests, uh, certain quests, but some will stay active, and it's just a, it's a mess with the quest system. You should have played Skyrim, did it like that. You know, it's not hard. The benchmark has been set. It's Skyrim. Do that. I'm Dealer, guys. Subscribe for daily videos. I'm out.